Mark Perman with Smith Ben Pearson International, and this is the SS300, which we manufacture for top gear in the UK. We have the leading manufacturer of compression benders, which typically have 58,000 pounds of force. The SS300 has 85,000 pounds of force. Much stronger machine. It is reinforced in the frame and the bending area to withstand the force it takes to bend with that power level. We're going to bend a few products on it, but first let's look at the end finishing end of the machine and how we can form to look for joints. On the SS300, we've added an additional cylinder to it, and this cylinder is used with a rod bracket bender to make hangers for your exhaust systems. It also can be used for expanders that can expand up to 139 millimeters. So you can actually have two options for expanding on this machine. First, we'll make a hanger here with it to show you how convenient it is to make a hanger. And by dialing this adjustable collar in or out, we can get different depths for your hangers. This is 3H rod. So you can make your own hangers to put on your own system. You can save yourself money with this. Now on the expander end here, it has the same collar and decal setup. And if we wanted to do a slip joint for a piece of tubing, we can simply dial in the correct number, place the tube over, and expand it. And we'll get a nice slip fit. You can make slip fits, you can make flares, you can make male and female balls on this end. Beads also. Now this end of the attachment, we have the sledger system. This is where you can clamp your tube in a fixed position and you can press form by pressing against the end of the tube to create shapes. You can reduce tube, flare tube, increase the diameter of tube, make male and female ball joints. Very quick. We have a 45 degree flare. Now we'll bend some material. First thing that we're going to bend is the, probably one of the harder materials to bend. It's 409 3 inch stainless steel. It comes in a 2 millimeter wall thickness, so it's very heavy. It takes power to move this stainless steel. We're going to load it in the machine. We'll bend it to about 120 degrees. Now what we're going to be looking for in this bend is a nice uniform bend and roundness on the OD or the outside of the bend. You see how nice and round this is. Earlier, we bent some aluminized 3 inch, a much milder material, and you can see how consistent it is throughout the materials. Now we'll try and bend another material, which is 304 stainless. 304 is really nice for exhaust systems, but normally when you get your 304 material, it's going to come in a thinner diameter or excuse me, a thinner wall thickness per the diameter. Instead of two millimeters, it'll be 1.5 millimeters. So 
So this is a much lighter tube. And what can happen because it's got a thinner wall and it's a less pliable, pliable material, it may tend to occasionally buckle. So what we're going to do is control the uniformity of the bend with the controlled wrinkle die. have control of wrinkles in it and it has a uniform bend. And also, it's got a nice appearance. So when you're looking at what type of equipment you should get, your shop wants to be known for the quality of the products it puts out. Look at the quality of the product that comes out of the machine before you make a decision. The SS300 is the strongest machine on the